Hello and welcome to today's video in which I'm going to be making my interpretation of Jon Snow of Game of Thrones because you know I had to at some point didn't I? <laughs> I've previously made Aya and Tyrion Lannister and uh, you can see both of those uh, progress videos on my channel but I'll link those below as well if you fancy having a gander at those afterwards. So yeah, I just thought it was about time that I made Jon Snow and I don't think it's any coincidence that I chose the hottest week seemingly ever actually in the UK, when well, it feels like it anyway. I think I was subconsciously or even consciously actually drawn to the, uh, the cold of uh, Jon Snow's surroundings and his warm outfits uh, to keep him nice and toasty. I think I've decided this year that I definitely prefer spring and autumn over summer. It's just been stupidly hot, I'd say. So I won't be talking too much about Game of Thrones today because you know, I always worry about spoilers and I really, really enjoy starting watching any programme without knowing too much about it really. That's why Netflix gets a bit on my nerves really, because if you watch any of the trailers on the interface there, well they're not even really trailers really, they show you bits and bobs of footage from the programme or the film that you want to watch, but they tend to give way too much away. And I, you know, I just don't understand that really. I don't know why you'd want to know the entirety of a plot before starting on something. So it's a Game of Thrones plot free space today. So I've wanted to make Jon Snow for a little while, really because he's got so much going on. There's so much detail on his outfits. So I just really wanted to try and replicate that with polymer clay in as best I could really. I can't always capture the detail that I want to really because I work with coloured polymer clay so it doesn't allow the same flexibility at times really if you're just working with the one tone of, uh, of polymer clay and you know then painting over. I try where possible and you know in 99% of cases really just to rely on the colour of the clay that I use and in case you didn't know I tend to use Fimo professional polymer clay for the vast majority of my work well certainly when it comes to model making or making my interpretations of people really because it's uh, quite a solid clay when it when it bakes and yeah, I, I just really like it really. I think most polymer clay artists tend to arrive at uh, one clay that they're you know most comfortable with. Although I have uh, recently received a, a whole host of different uh, Sculpey clays from a lovely lady who watches my videos and uh, she was having a, a bit of a clear out. So I've now got loads of Sculpey souffle clay and Sculpey Premo Accents clay as well and uh, they're very different clays to Fimo but I'm finding all sorts of new ways to work with them really but I'd say that they tend to work better for smaller projects like my uh, pin badges, uh, I've got loads of pin badge tutorials on my channel now if, uh, if you're interested I'll, I'll link those below as well so yeah but for model making I tend to stick to Fimo Professional just because I like it really. <laughs> it's as uh, yeah, good a, an excuse as any. So tonally I'm working with uh, very similar colours for Jon Snow's outfits. Uh, they're all varying shades of grey and brown really so there's not a huge amount of variation going on in terms of colour. So I don't really want to talk about Jon Snow, obviously, but 
I was interested to find out that Kits Harrington, who plays Jon Snow, um, his real name is Christopher and he didn't actually know <laughs> his name was Christopher until I think he was 11, which is, uh, yeah, really quite interesting and certainly my favourite facts um, I found out while looking up some stuff about him. I think a teacher told him to write his full name on his, um, may have been his exam form or something and uh, he was like, wow, I know what my name is, it's Kit. <laughs> and so uh, yeah, he was corrected and uh, obviously felt a bit mortified really that he, he didn't know his name. But I like the name Kit, actually, I've not come across it before other than Knight Rider. So I'm just continuing to build onto the torso here, lots and lots of detail. And this isn't a direct replica of his outfit, it's just, you know, my interpretation of, uh, of what he's wearing. As I say, with coloured polymer clay it's really difficult to create, um, you know, something that's true to form really, you have to just really work with it and uh, and see what you can do in your own unique way or your own unique style. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lizzie and I'm a polymer clay artist and illustrator and I make weekly videos about my polymer clay sculptures so if you like what you see by all means go and hit the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell for notifications as well. So here I'm working on the collar for his, uh, his cape and I was interested to see that lots of cosplayers were making their own interpretations of this cape with Ikea rugs. <laughs> so yeah, it's very imaginative, very creative. And I'm just going to move on to his hair now and this was unbelievably difficult to do. I tried numerous ways to do his hair and I'd say it's, uh, yeah, I spent probably a full day on his hair actually just trying out different ways of doing it because it's really hard actually to capture somebody's likeness. Um, at times and I noticed with uh, Kit Harrington or Jon Snow it was really difficult even though I had all the basics there you know the face shape was kind of there the beard was kind of there but you'll see here it just went through various stages of really not looking very much like him it actually looked a bit like Samuel Tarly at times as well from Game of Thrones which was quite interesting I mean, he just looks like, you know, a, a dashing knight here, so eventually I was able to settle on a hairstyle that worked a lot better. Basically, I just went wild with the curls, really, and it seemed to work a lot better. I don't think the likeness was, you know, 100% in the end, but that's always the way with my models and, uh, you know, the way that I work with them, it's not always possible to to get something that looks 100% like the person it's supposed to be, but in the end I was pretty pleased with this one. It was a good excuse to work on some mega details anyway, so now that he's baked for the last time, I'll add just a little bit of Sculpey Glaze. And here he is, all done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and as I say I'll link below to Aya and Tyrion so by all means go and check those out and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.